Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to a second part of my flower shop. So today I am renovating, not renovating, <laughs> I am furnishing um, the house that is next to this uh, flower shop. So last time you saw like a full um, build building yeah plus a flower shop and one bedroom and that bedroom was for like um, grandparents so this is like a generation house because the whole family and whole generation lives here so next to that flower shop is a bedroom for the um, uh, grandparents and um, here on the main floor is the kitchen living room dining and another one of the um, bathrooms so this whole house with the flower shop is like connected and um, you cannot see the full layout here but probably i'm going to include that picture um, on my patreon post so you can see actually how this is connected something like a townhouse looks like a townhouse but um, probably it's not and i really wanted to include like a family house just because there is a mod that you can download and use if you want to run your own business probably on the same lot yeah but um i really I, I don't know why um the team hasn't like include something like that because it's very like necessary and re people really love um to play with their own like houses and and businesses to run business and um i'm really hoping that they are going to uh, include something like that in the near future so this house is for a family of six and the every single like a room it's not very big it's on the smaller side but um it's enough for the gameplay and especially um if you want to play like with a big family if you have one big family and one note please i i need to say this but i'm going to mention this probably um when i finished the whole like um, save file um guys i am not going to include um sims townies just because i'm not really good at that uh, and i need to make some kind of a storyline behind this um townies and something like that families or i don't know um i wanted to leave that to you just because i feel like if you want to use some particular house and if you have your own townies and if you have your own sims that you already made um it's better um to leave all these houses uh, empty without the townies without the families or um sim and you can make your own like storylines and families and everything i don't know but uh, just because i saw the couple of simmers are using my houses for the gameplay and for the stories and things like that and i'm so freaking grateful and i really love to do that and if you are doing that please let me know tag me somewhere on tumblr or twitter or instagram i don't know where but I am so grateful and I'm so happy that people really loves my houses and my builds in general and that they are using them for um, like the gameplay so um, please let me know if you are using my house and tag me somewhere please so I am already in the living room and I just want to tell you something um, I don't want to forget this uh, last time when I made the uh, like um, a vet clinic i use the same set from pierre sim this is the new set um, from pierre sim this sofa and rug and that is david's apartment um, set and um he, i believe that set is a uh, is going to be free at the beginning of the march yes and that's the reason why i skipped this video because i and really something else uh, it's because i just wanted to um, be sure when this set is coming and is going to be for free and especially uh, if you want to play with this right away so it's going to be free at the beginning of the march i believe at very beginning of the march maybe third or something like that but um 
I didn't know what guys I need to tell you something um, making the houses and like any kind of building for me it's very easy but when it comes to the furnishing and decorate decorating and making like different house for different style for each house started to be so difficult for me I don't know why maybe because I am playing with the same world and making houses for the same world um, I, I don't know what's going on uh, I made like three or four new builds like the whole house and the exterior and I just stopped there and I didn't finish any of those houses um, I need time to furnish the houses it's so easy for me I am so inspired when it comes to the like the shape and um, like exterior but when it comes to the interior it, it, it became so difficult to me I don't know what is going on probably because I'm already tired of this <laughs> I need to make something else, something different, to play with different world, but I don't want to like bring back my old save files and make a new one. I'm going to make a new one when the new expansion pack uh, comes out. So um, then I'm going to renovate that world also while I'm renovating this like Willow Creek and Brillington Bay so let's get back to the house so here we have a bedroom for the kiddo so we have like one boy um, I believe this bed is meant to be for like an older kid probably but if you don't want to if you have like a smaller kid toddler something like that please just switch this um, use different bed but um, we also have um, parents on this floor and on the attic we have this beautiful bedroom for teenage girl I love this bedroom so much because I didn't make like a proper attic for such a long time and also I put those like this is like a glass roof and she has so much light uh, in this room and it's so freaking beautiful and I really wanted to make this like in bohemian style and it's so freaking cute and private little space for one teenage girl and it's so great I really love this room and this house is already on the gallery and also on my patreon page so I will not go into um, post this again uh, because you already have like a full house and guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up um, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell next time is going to be something very uh, exciting and cute until then love you guys and see you next time bye bye